Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 10. I'm Alex Michelson. And I'm Christine Devine. New at 10, a fire in Chinatown leaves six people injured and over 50 people displaced from their homes tonight. That blaze is suspected to have been started by homeless people living under a bridge construction site that has been vacant for years. Fox 11's Ed Lasko is live in Chinatown with the latest. Ed. And that is a big part of this continuing story. First, though, more than 50 tenants, residents of the apartment building, left homeless most in the Echo Park area tonight in temporary shelter. That's their apartment building up there. Three stories of it, all vacant, now burnt out, because look how close it is right up next to the vacant building. That's the one that's been under construction for years. That's the one that triggers this blaze. Watch. Friday night, Chinatown, still a very active fire scene, hours after this dramatic firefight. <laughs> Fire out of control, raging through this vacant three-story apartment building, still under construction. It is burning hot with its wooden framework even collapsing. Intense fire that spreads fast next door, but this apartment building is occupied. When our firefighters were going there for the initial fire attack, they also were helping to evacuate people. Several evacuated, including an elderly man in his 80s, critically hurt, and more than 50 others, they're now left homeless, left with just their suitcases and their plastic bags filled with their clothing. They're trying to get what's left of their stuff, and like many here, hoping the Red Cross can find them a place to stay, they're building now red-tagged. They are trying to figure out a, uh, another hotel for, for, for us. And then but right now, they settle down the, everybody in the, in the park right now. That as arson investigators use their specially trained dog to sniff out accelerants as neighbors have filed countless complaints with the city, complaining and over and over again about the homeless squatting, camping out and setting fires in the unfinished building. Only this time, that fire took off. We've been calling the city for months about this. They've done absolutely nothing, and we knew this was coming. This could have been prevented, and they just kind of shrugged their shoulders and said, well, we've done all we can. And now, lie that is the exact part of why some of these neighbors are very upset tonight, even pulling me aside, saying, I can't believe it, what they're upset about. How many times have you heard officials tell us, tell everybody, you see something, say something? Oh, they say they saw something in that vacant building. They said something, and still, as they say, nothing happened. For now, we're live here, Chinatown. Back to the west side we go.